the beep. Let's do this, boys and girls. What's up? It's your boy, Kakarot, bringing you an episode 63 review. This possibly could be my favorite episode of the series. Being a huge Vegeta fan, let's get into it. Don't disrespect Saiyan Cells. Vegeta's heroic battle begins. Being a Vegeta fan, I was looking forward to this episode. It starts off at LA Fitness. I mean, the hyperbolic time chamber slash the room of spirit and time. I say LA Fitness because it's kind of like the joke that comes after this. It's pretty much Vegeta training his ass off. The most intense training. Judging back to my other review about all of the stuff that leading up to it, Vegeta was extremely driven this time more than usual. He blows up the hyperbolic time chamber. I hope not because this could screw the future timelines up if they need to use it again. But this is the LA Fitness joke because it kind of looks like me after every workout. That's the type of shape I'm in and I'm like steaming just from destroying myself in the gym. So that's awesome. I That's why I love freaking Vegeta. Training his ass off, getting stronger. It's all he wants to do just like me. He's freaking awesome. And he's a loner too. So I fit in well with him. Um, And Kami style the kami style we've not heard that in a while kami style is freaking awesome turtle hermit style as he gives him the uh like the the coffee can type canister which like i said before i do have in my collection as well it's the exact same thing so that's kind of cool that they have that and i have that as well um and so they're gonna go steal them up so we go to the kind of the uh, state that Trunks is in here. He is obviously just went through battle and he survived, of course, because he's very good at facing two stronger opponents and surviving androids, kind of. Trunks is really good at this. He's really good at hit and run. So he gets a Senzu Bean. Now we go to Mai. I still don't understand. Since the very early stages of Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, what is with the humans and, like, guns against these enemies? Like, they think, like, like, when they're, like, the Cell Saga, you could go to any freaking saga. What is with humans? Like, oh, our guns are gonna do something. It's, I, I don't get it. I think it's stupid every time. I don't know why they're still doing it at, the, at this level. This sniper rifle probably wouldn't hurt freaking, freaking... TN, the first time you see him in Dragon Ball. I mean, come on. But they do, they do explain that uh, that it's a special energy bullet that's several times stronger than a normal one. Take a normal bullet and how much damage it does. It's only several times stronger. Big freaking deal. You think this is like as strong as a, like a, like a Kamehameha? Do you think this is as strong as like Masenko? you think this is as strong as a Gatling gun, Final Flash, Bing Bang? No, it's not. So I don't understand the humans. So uh, it does nothing, obviously, even though Goku Black looks like kind of grazed them there in the air. So they show the earring to um, show that they, they've missed a headshot. Not that it would have done anything unless his guard is down. Let's go back to the 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 ring, uh, like the phaser ring that, you know, Resurrection F when Goku's guard is down. As simple as a little phaser ring could freaking... So I guess they could have heard him if his guard was down. Ah, it's not good. That's a whole other topic for a whole other day. Um, and then you see them just go to blast them away. And Trunks saves the day again. And we see Trunks' transformation. He goes from skinny CrossFit kid into monster bodybuilder. Powering up. Freaking awesome. I love Trunks' new form. Um, possibly top three favorite form for me possibly i do like this change because it's strong as it's strong as i'm, I'm spotted i'm strong it's strong as hell including the super saiyan blonde hair i do love that if i had to pick super saiyan over super saiyan blue i would pick the super saiyan blonde hair it's freaking awesome so tr okay <laughs> so tr trunks Trunks has Trunks has it out with Goku Black. Keeps he keeps up with them, but nothing special. Although the Gatling gun, 
he hits him with a Gatlink gun, which looks freaking awesome if you try to do it. It's not like the, it's not the basic, you know, Kamehameha. It's kind of like, like that. It's freaking awesome. Um, he hits him with it, and he leaves Black, um, I guess, relatively hurt. But this, this takes me back to the Friday the 13th movies. This takes me back to any... Jesus, the third time. It, this takes me back to, like, every horror movie, every, like, movie where you wound the bad guy and then you just assume that he's hurt and you just run over and, like, nothing happened. Like, you knock down Jason Voorhees in the earlier stages. You knock him down. Okay, I think he might be hurt. Let's run away. Why not, while he's unconscious, why not go over there with that shovel and just keep finishing him off trunks should go over to black right now and try to finish him off no it's every movie they do that it's like i think he's hurt i think he might be dead i don't know he's unconscious right now but i'll just hope for the best no go over there and finish him i, I just don't understand uh why he just doesn't do that so he's like whatever i'm gonna drop my guard because goku you know black he's not ever going to uh matter anymore so he goes over takes on zamasu which i do think he obviously outpowers him every time goes for a finishing blast with his guard down and of course big freaking surprise saw it coming a mile away he gets the freaking blade through the not the abdomen it looks more like liver i don't know my non that's okay okay uh so our heroes arrive it's time for vegeta finally to kick some ass that's what we're waiting for they come in and smart, with a little snap of the fingers, he destroys their time machine so they can't run away. Very smart move. So uh, they don't really seem too like upset for some reason. Like, hey, this is our only ticket home. They don't really seem too upset. They just go into arguments of this will be your grave. No, this will be your grave. So they go back and forth. And Kakarot being... I love seeing that word Kakarot because it just clicks into my head that that's me every time from, you know, Dragon Ball Online and everything. It's like every time I hear the word Kakarot, it like clicks. But anyway, hey, Kakarot, where's the urn? And, you know, Goku being, you know, that smart guy, especially in Dragon Ball Super, he leaves it inside the freaking time machine. And now it's smashed to pieces. Spoiler, not you're going to see that in a couple minutes anyway. Smashed into a bunch of pieces inside the time machine. Yeah, oh no, it's in the time machine. So, that's real nice. And they get some special visitors. A Supreme Kai that hasn't been relevant in ages comes along. And they want they try to talk them out of it. That's going to happen, right? Yep, yep, they talk me out of it on the series. No, they talk, they don't, talk does nothing. Talk is cheap. So, he, heard, he just tells them that I've heard everything from the God of Destruction, Barisama. And they find out that Whis is an angel, huh? It's, that's interesting, huh? An angel, so Whis sons an angel pretty cool and then he says i don't think i'd kill you three times as he goes to kill him goku and vegeta are like bitch please and they knock the blast away now they are ready for battle this foolish question vegeta which one are you taking he obviously wants the one that looks like kakarot because deep down he sees him as goku he's not seeing goku black here he's seeing goku and that's his rival he wants to fight which is respectfully awesome that Vegeta's going after him obviously so we finally 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 akari toriyama must be getting so much hate mail finally we see a vegeta ass whooping given out to somebody else he comes out outpowers black Blocks all of his punches. He realizes his increased power this much in such a short time. The hyperbolic time chamber, they should just freaking live in there. The room of spirit and time, live in there. Freaking awesome. Beats his ass. Uh, Zamasu tries to jump in because he notices that Vegeta is whooping ass right now. He's probably the strongest one there right now. And he decides to jump in and Goku says, sit down. And Bulma, coming prepared as always, comes with a freaking giant garage, and she says she will fix the time machine faster than the speed of light. So that problem solved. Um, and then we see the uh, the pot here smashed into a lot of pieces. The urn, rather, the urn, and gives Bulma gives Trunks some super glue to uh, super glue it back together. That's right. You used to be good at jigsaw puzzles, right, Trunks? So good luck. So obviously. Spoiler, we're going to be seeing that next time. Lots of spoilers already. We know how cuts are coming up. 
And we see just Vegeta just giving him the old fashioned, um, you know, like when he, when he was Majin Vegeta, we're seeing the good old fashioned, I'm going to lecture you while I beat your ass. I'm going to lecture you. And he does, telling him everything that's wrong with him and why Vegeta is better. And it's just awesome. And then he's just, he's just completely whooping his ass. Um, and then with one big final blow, we get you get that awesome opera esque music and a huge punch. And Goku Black's just like, why is there such a difference in strength? Vegeta just told you like for the last five minutes of your beatdown, and he gets right in his face like, you really want to know? You are a fake, and I am the Saiyan Prince. And we end close curtain. Awesome, awesome episode. This was. Mm, top three episode for me maybe top two i would have to think about it all this is on the fly obviously um and that's how we end the episode so uh let's jump into a preview of next week's episode he learns the shadow clone jutsu apparently <laughs> or he uh i mean piccolo is able to do this tian's able to do this tian did it in before piccolo in the dragon early dragon ball um and so we see Shadow Clone Jutsu. He must be hanging out with Naruto. And then uh, pretty much it's time for their payback because obviously, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense if Vegeta just wiped everyone out. So now it's time for our payback. So now it's time for their their counter shot. And then we're going to go right back to, you know, where we go one step forward. And now we're going two steps back. And now the good guys, the Z fighters, we have to find a way to go one step forward again to match them. And it's like a chess, you know, game of chess here. So we see that they're obviously going to try to seal them away. And obviously you're seeing Zamasu here. So obviously, just based on the preview, the uh, the, Mafu, the, Mafobu, the, the Maf, uh, Mafabu's not going to work. So um, obviously they go into a, a fusion. The Mafuba. Ah, get my words mixed up. The Mafuba is not going to work. Obviously it doesn't work because they show that they're fused right here. Fusions and Masu's explosive birth. So they pretty much kind of wrecked the episode. I mean, I don't go ahead for spoilers, but uh, they go to seal them away and it doesn't work because obviously they fuse. So uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go do some Dragon Ball hunting, possibly if Dragon Ball Online servers are up. So don't forget to like, comment, tell a friend, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my live streams Mondays and Wednesdays and maybe more if I get more requests. So that's going to do it. Peace out. Bye. Shabow. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to smile. Right. Bull par par. Bull par par. Bull par par. Bull par par. Respect the beat.